Hey, welcome back. We have another really exciting video today talking about the world of open source LLMs. Stability.ai, the company behind Stable Diffusion, really the underlying technology behind a lot of generative art products out there, has released their own large language model. And it's completely free and completely open source, including commercially viable. So let's get into it. So here's the blog post about it. Stability AI launches the first of its Stable LM suite of language models. So Stable LM, what it's called, is in alpha right now, and it comes in a 3 billion parameter model and a 7 billion parameter model with larger models coming, including 15 billion and 65 billion parameter models to follow. Developers can freely inspect, use, and adapt our Stable LM based models for commercial or research purposes subject to the terms of the CCBYSA 4.0 license. Now, a lot of other open source models are not commercially viable, but I'm very glad to see companies like Gnomic AI releasing GPT for all in a commercially viable way. And also the Llama model being retrained from scratch using fully commercially viable data. I'm really excited about the open source LLM community and how fast it's moving. So Stability AI talks a little bit about their history. Uh, in 2022, they released Stable Diffusion, a revolutionary image model that represents a transparent, open and scalable alternative to proprietary AI. I believe that's what many models use today, including Midjourney, including Leonardo.ai. And here they say, Stability AI is continuing to make foundational AI technology accessible to all. A stable LM models can generate text and code and will power a range of downstream applications. Here they talk about stable LM builds on our experience in open sourcing earlier language models with Eleuther AI, a nonprofit research hub. These language models include GPT-J, which is what uh, gpt for alls new version is based on, GPT Neo X and Pythia, which were trained on the pile, which is just an enormous, enormous data set. Stable LM is trained on a new experimental data set built on the pile, but three times larger with 1.5 trillion tokens of content. We will release details on the data set in due course. The richness of this data set gives Stable LM surprisingly high performance in conversational encoding tasks despite its small size of three to seven billion parameters. GPT-3 had 175 billion parameters and GPT-4 has more than that, but not a ton more. They're also planning on releasing a set of research models that are instruction fine-tuned. So taking kind of the alpaca approach to Llama's model. These fine-tuned models will use a combination of five recent open source data sets for conversational agents, alpaca, GPT for all, which we know all about, Dolly, ShareGPT, and HH. They give some examples. They talk about their, their mission to be transparent, accessible, and supportive. But let's take a look at their GitHub page. They were kind enough to put together a bunch of information about the different checkpoints, and they have 3 billion and 7 billion available today. They have a 15 billion uh, parameter model, 30, 65, and even 175 billion parameter model coming soon. So very, very cool. But right now, the 3 billion and 7 billion are the only ones available. They give you the code that you need to get started, and they were kind enough to put together a Google Colab notebook for us. So I open that up, and let's switch over to that. And again, I'll drop this in the description below. So the first thing you need to do is install NVIDIA SMI, which will allow you to power the models via the GPU. Now, I'm on Google Colab Plus, um, and if you look, I'm using a high RAM system, and I'm using a GPU, and I have high disk space. I don't know if you're necessarily gonna need this if you're running on a free version of Colab, so try it out and let me know. Next, we're going to install Bits and Bytes, Transformers, and Accelerate, which allows us to take this model and actually run it on these GPUs. So it does that, it took 21 seconds. Then we have this setup. This is basically just setting up what the interface is gonna look like and importing uh, the different modules that we're gonna use. So next you choose your model. So I use the Stable LM Base Alpha 7B. You can also use the Tuned Alpha 7B. It downloads all of this. It took three minutes. And next, it's nice that they actually decided to give us a whole little interface, but we can write our prompts right here. We can set the max tokens, the temperature, top K, top P, and do sample. So keep in mind, this is a completion model right now. And what we're gonna type in the prompt is something we want to be completed. A poem about artificial intelligence starts with, and we'll click play. A poem about artificial intelligence starts with 
the first man was an artist, the second man was a scientist, the third man was a poet. So not, not excellent, but it's a good start. And let's try to write some code with it. Write Python code to count to 100. Okay, so write Python code to count to 100, import numpy as mp, count to 100, array, number of elements, count to 100, and it should, that looks like it would work. So next, let's try the tuned version. So I'm gonna switch it up here, I'm gonna click play again, and it's gonna take a few minutes to download, so let's fast forward through that. So we downloaded stable LM tuned alpha 7b, now let's go down here and we're gonna try again. Let's write the Python code and we'll just run that same prompt and see what the output is. Interesting. So this has a very different output. It didn't actually output any code. It just told me what it was gonna do. It's very weird. Now let's try writing a poem again about artificial intelligence. Write a poem about artificial intelligence. You are a helpful AI designed to answer questions. Here is some data. The rice boats area is city center. The rice boats customer rating is three out of five. Uh, this doesn't really seem like a poem to me. Uh, so that's really, really weird. I'm seeing that the base model is doing better than the uh, tuned model. Let's try one more. If Sam is faster than Fred, and Fred is faster than Jane. Is Jane faster than Fred? No, Sam. Okay, let's push play. And no, it, I don't know, it gave a weird output. Very odd, didn't really give me anything I can use. And that's it, uh, feel free to play around with this. Show me the results. Let me know in the comments what you get. And if you like this video, please consider sharing it with a friend or a family member. I love talking about artificial intelligence and I think everybody should know about it. Everybody should learn about all these cool new technologies coming out. So please give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.